Hi everyone. Uh, right, I just wanted to do a little project. I need to keep my hands moving. And in order for me to do that, I really have to, you know, move them. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do today is something really simple. Um, and anyone can do this. So I've just got a piece of this. It's uh, kind of like a very firm silk. And it's got like a grainy pattern to it. And uh, what I'm going to do is cut this. I'm going to get rid of all them fibres. And uh, I'm just going to cut this. See if we can get it a little bit straighter. I'm going to go off the edge of this. Something like that. And I'm probably going to use about that much, I think. That's about one, two, three, four and a half inches. And I'm going to do about three. Now, now I'm just going to show you how to, we don't need that section, how to do um, a nice sheet dress. So what I need is to be able to cut this. I'm just taking a plain piece of felt. That's going to be the bottom section. That's going to go overlay that. We might need a little bit more. I think that'll do. Because I want to put it onto the uh, back it onto some felt. Don't ask why, I just do. So I'm just going to straighten this off. Oh god, it is really hard that with my hands. But I do have to keep them going and moving. Um, I'm going to take my rings off shortly as well because I'm finding it painful to have them on. But hey, we're not on about that today. Right. Okay, now what I've got to do is I've got to take the dress from the neckline. So we've got the... Let me just see. I might draw this. It might be easier. So that's if that's the neckline... like that I might have to do it a little bit and then we've got yeah I might bring that down a bit and I'll give it a bit of a length in the body let's have a look And I think that'll do. Yeah, we'll just have that shape. Now, I would normally just generally cut it without drawing it, but it helps if somebody can't uh, do it that way, freehand, to see it being done. Now, this could go belly up, because <laughs> I don't do everything right the first time. Well, that's what I do, is trial and error, because I play. Okay. And this could look total rubbish. Don't waste any of them bits. You'll come in handy for things. Actually, I'm quite happy with that. So this is going to be my uh, background of my dress. And basically, what I'm going to do now is... Let's get rid of all this. Rough edge for now. And I'm going to fill 
first of all, that's going to have to fit there. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so this is where my sewing bit comes in. Now, you might do this differently, but this, I've lost my needle now. I had a needle here. Where did I put the needle? I took a needle out of there. What did I do with the needle? Oh, bum. I didn't hear it fall. And you lot can't help because I can't hear it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just need to get some thread. We need, I've got my thread here. We'll use this one. I'm just using a silk thread. I get these on eBay. I mean, if I can get them in from the warehouse, I will do. But to be honest, I buy mine from eBay. And the silk threads. And you get a pack of, I think it's 12 or 24, for about six or seven pounds. And I just think it's worth it because you get every colour. Okay. Right. Now, all I'm going to do is start at the waistline. And I'm not turning the edges down at all. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it this way. It's a lot easier. Okay. So, I'm just going to start and sew this. Yeah, much easier. We'll do it that way. This only has to be rough because no one's going to see it yet. And you'll see what I'm going to do. It's just an idea that came into my head. And it doesn't involve me actually. It's my right hand's the worst, so it doesn't really involve a lot of uh, movement in that. It's mainly done with the left. As long as I just keep the. F oh. See, yesterday one, it started to ease up yesterday, and when I got up this morning, they were swollen again. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to do that. And then I'm going to do a couple of stitches on the end. Like so. Oh. Now, making sure that thread and needle is out of the way just trim that down. I'm going to take my lighter and just seal all that off which will stop that from fraying hopefully and then oh, sorry it's really hard to grip Because my fingers are getting numb, you know, and it's on my right hand. I'm finding it really difficult. <sighs> okay, so we're going to take the other side. Now this is about 12 inches long, uh, 12 inches wide by about five, uh, I think it was said four, five and a half. And you take this to this side like that. Now remember that's so that's you've got to get this straight. See this. Let me just make sure you can see what I'm doing. So you can see that. So we need to bring that to here. And we have to level it off with the waist there. So again, I'm gonna start on that end. And then we can turn that around. Oh, come on. Sorry, I'm finding it difficult to... It won't bloody beat me, whatever it is. <laughs> it won't, I won't let it. My hands are my livelihood. I 
just keep going. Sorry, that is my stomach you can hear and it's uh, it has been fed. There we go. Right, I'll forget that at the end. And then just do that a couple of tacking stitches. Oh, don't pick up any fibres, we don't want you knotting away. Okay, so we've got that. I'm just cut that. Now what I'm going to do is to... Uh, I'm, because I'm using a big needle, there wasn't enough on there for me to um, continue doing what I was doing. So I'm just going to thread it again. I need to get a small needle somewhere. Oh, I've got one there. Now, what I'm going to do is just to cut that. There we go, like that. And you can see what we've got. We've got this. So now what we can do is I would pull that apart. We're going to pull it down to there so you get the centre. And let's pull it down to the level of that. Stitch that on. So I pulled it apart like that. Pulled it down to the centre. And then pull that apart again. See, so it's equal. And then stitch that. Just do a tacking stitch. Then move this over, pull this apart. Just make sure you get it roughly the same on each side. There's a tacking stitch. And then what I'm going to do is, <laughs> it is difficult, but um, it can be done. Go to the beginning. Whoops, like that. And then you do a running stitch from there. Across the top. Yeah, to where that stitch is. And you pull that in. See, you've done your first bit there. But then you've got this bit here to do your running stitch on. Now what you can do is, if you've got like a, a pencil or something like that, pop that in and it'll just help. Pop it in and then you can keep... The thing is, I could have done it before doing uh, putting it all together, but you need to get the sides on properly. Which is why I do it like this. So I can release that. Pop that in there. Just pull the material straight. Do your last stitch there. Move that over. Like that. Keep moving it over. Just gets you the even evenness properly. Take that out. Do my last stitch there. 
pop that in there. When you're pushing the material into the needle, uh, well, around the rod, and creating, and then go to the edge, um, a perfect, see, and you get that, it's a nice gathered look. We well, never mind this, but we're going to sort this bit out. And then you can pull the waste in as much as you need. I'm going to go over actually. Sorry, I hope you've been watching this because I haven't been checking. Let me just set, check you can see where my... Yes, I think so. Okay, so we've got that. And we're just going to trim that off. There we go. Now, this is the bit we need to trim. Keeping the shape of the dress. So anything that's over, trim. See, and you've got that type of garment. I, this, I want it round for a particular reason. Like that. Now, we've got to do the same sort of thing with this layer. Only I've got to do something with it first. I'm going to burnish this end. And then that end. Cut that in half. Burnish this first. And then that one. Like that. Yeah, I'm going to round this off, I think. I need to make sure they're both the same. So I'm going to round this off first. I know it doesn't look like anything at the moment, but bear with me. It'll work or it won't. <laughs> it's true. So I've rounded that off. I'll just burnish that. And that one. So, left hand, right hand. Okie dokie, smokey. Now, with this one, I'm just going to gather it. Um, because I don't need to shape it at the moment till I've finished fitting the skirt piece on. So, go across.
like that. So this is what we've got so far. Nice little pretty dress, isn't it? Like that. Now what I'm going to do is just go along the edge. Spin because it's silk. Look what it's doing. See the edge it's given it? Beautiful, beautiful edge. Like that. Again, just manoeuvre all of those. And then what we're going to do is to do the same here. And that seals that up and it's puffed it up a little bit as well. So we've got that. Now to do this top section, um, I'm going to use the same material. Now a little bit that I cut off. I'm going to bend that, fold that, should I say. And then pop that on. Like that, I think. But I'm going to glue that. Because it doesn't need to be stitched. At all. So I'm just going to glue that. Not bothered about the little gap there at all. Like that, that's fine. And then what we're going to do is trim that. Oops, sorry. Seal that. Like that. Now I did buy some of this beautiful, beautiful pink satin, uh, silk, sorry, ribbon. <clears throat> and it's gorgeous and so what I'm going to do <laughs> if I can do this if I remember how to do it I'm not sure if I do it's uh, hard for me to do stuff like this and I have a bow maker somewhere I think I've got that right fingers <laughs> right here we go so yes I think I've got that right like that yeah and I'm just going to do that and you see it coming to into you know shape already now I want to bring that down a little bit I think Let me just see. No, 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 don't do that. I do want the big bow. Kind of. I don't think that's too big. It's a nice couture. Uh, right, I'm going to shape those as well. So, I'm just going to glue that on. Like 
we just pop that there in the middle. It's like your little Alice in Wonderland dress. We take this and we double that. And we do that. And we take this. Let's just have a look because I don't want to spoil it and I know what I'm like. That's too much, too much. What the hell are you doing, Fee? <laughs> right, let's just quickly. Right, there we go. So in order for these to stick down properly, just do dobber glue there and a dobber glue there and then position them where you want them to be. Like that. I might want to pull, that's it. That's it, that's what I want to do. So we've got that, but I haven't finished with it yet because um, I want to decorate it. Now, what I've bought, uh, what I've bought, what I've got is this. We have, we do sell it in the shop. Um, and I couldn't put it on first because I wasn't sure how much of the fabric I needed. So I'm just going to pop that up there. And you're just going to have to make do with what I'm going to do with it. That's it, I think. In fact, I'm not going to do what I was going to do. <laughs> because it's going to be too much. So, I'm just going to chop these little daisies. Little individual flowers. There we go, so we've got that. Yeah. I don't know whether to take that off and, and use a smaller one. Though I do like that. Too late. <laughs> so, now what I'm going to do is to... Mm, yeah, I've got these. These are really, really tiny flowers. Look at that. I could have put those on there, but I... No, I'm going to put them on here, I think, around the neck. 
So one in the centre. And we just add a little pearl to this. Right, so just seal this bit. Okay, I think we can do that now. So, over the hand. We do it like this. If you put it down towards this finger, wrap it over the three fingers, over once, and then you're going to poke that through that side like that and then pull the two together and knot it but because you've got two fingers here and one there you've got to even it out then so I just do that that's better the bow was too big I knew there was something wrong with it. I knew. Come back here, you fool. Just pull it like that, that's it. That's much nicer. Come on, glue gun. Oh, God. There we go. There we go. It was just too, too much. That's better, much better. And then I'm just going to seal it off really quick. Seal that off. And then, like I say, the way to do it is to pin it with some glue underneath spare like that yes that's much nicer yeah I like that but I need something for the center here and then what I could do is put one of the little I might do that I'm not sure let me just see see I can just pop pop that in there do the little flower bit um and i need a little flat bead just one just to go on there like that yeah I think that'll do that's fine Yeah. Nice little dress. And I'm just going to shape these, I think. I don't like them squarish. That's better. Mm. 
it looks better rounded yeah like that I might want to just go a little bit further <laughs> you know me I have to be satisfied let me just see what I have I do have a bit of silk yes perfect this is pure silk perfect yeah okay this might work and it might not I'll wrap that up later or should I say it may work but it may not that's got a nice neat edge on that right okay needle thread there we go see if we've got enough on here to do this I've had enough now my hands are killing me <laughs> right my last bit is it might work, might not, but we'll see. Like I say, I'm using a piece of pure silk. Do a little running stitch. I could have put this on first, but I didn't think about it. See, I build things up and you can always there's no, um, what can you say, no rule as when to do something. It's do whatever you can when you can, if you want, if you like. You don't have to construct something the way they tell you to. Do it your own way. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, that's going to be what I need, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do it like that with a little bit of give in there. Okay, okay. Put the needle there. Right, I've left a little bit of give. Now, what I'm going to do here, whoops, a bit of thread there. In here. Yeah. Is just to glue this across there. Even that out as much as possible. Do I need to cut it? No, but I'm going to do something with it. You need to shape it. And as it's pure silk, it will crinkle. And pull itself in. I want it to crinkle. Yes, I like that. We just do this side a bit more. Like that. I do like that. And what I'm going to do is just to glue it down a little bit onto that. just to glue the edge down onto that yes I like that hmm. yeah. not finished
perfect. I knew there was something missing. <laughs> Now what I've got to do is to trim this down, about halfway actually. That's it. That's what was missing. Like that. And there you have a beautiful silk because it's all silk dress and everything can be seen I'm not sure if we can put anything on I could put some little beading on and well do you know what no bugger it bugger it let me see I'm gonna do this way because I think it needs something Not finished. I know the battery will run out, you see, so I need to get this done. Don't do that to me. It's silk, I can scrape it off. Ah, that's not. <laughs> Take that off there. Right. Like that. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need seven more of those little tiny beads. Red stuck to it. Come on. Where's the other? One, two, three, four, five, six. I had one more. Where did I put it? Too big. Got it. Right. What I'm going to do is just to a little bit of glue. Pop that on. There we go, all done, I think. There we go. Right. 
not sure if that no that's fine I just you can skim on that yeah I'm quite happy with that there you go and I hope you like that but um, that can go on a card or anywhere very little material very little trimming and I hope you enjoyed it give it a go thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now